this is the full pack job. We're now going to go through step by step. So step one, make sure you have enough space on the packing mat. Once you've made sure that you've had enough space, make sure you do have a packing tool off to the side and a weight, which is close by. I have a couple weights off to the side there. So first thing we want to do, line check. You do not have to be gentle. I have the line separated with my fingers. I walk it up. And everything's good. I know everything's good because there's no twists below the slider, nothing above the slider. So I can set the brakes. Uh, set the left brake. And set the right. The brakes are set. I'm going to show a bonus step here. This is how to keep the lines together. You take your pull cord. You put it in the big loop in the three ring system. I'm just tying the risers together. And that will keep my risers together and symmetrical. Place the weight very carefully down. Now I want to separate the lines with my fingers, walk it up so I can begin my flaking. So with good line tension behind me, put the slider up on my shoulder, turn that canopy 90 degrees, count the no-cells after finding either the logo or the stabilizer. Let's count the no-cells off to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grab all the no-cells, give them a shake, kung fu move between the legs. Now I'm going to begin the flaking. I find all my D lines, karate chop, C lines, karate chop, D lines, karate chop. Sides done, I can move on to the next side. D lines, karate chop, C lines, karate chop, B lines, karate chop. Clear the material out, make sure everything's presentable. Bring the slider back down, quarter, stick a quarter in this pocket, quarter in that pocket, quarter to the back, quarter to the front. I'm going to take my brakes, just set them in the middle, my brakes, set them in the middle. It's a little tiny stabilizer pocket. You want to go back and forth, back and forth. Reach down. Grab the middle, indicated by the middle tape there. Wrap it around up above the grommets. Make sure you have a nice tight wrap and grasp at the top here. Grab the nose cells. Wiggle it in. Pull the hand out nice and gentle. Knee, knee. Want to wrap the tail seam together. Bring it back onto the shoulder. Squeeze some of that air out. Cradling it with my left hand, holding it with my right. Bring it down like it's plutonium. Just take a knee before beginning the S-fold. When I make sure my pallet chute is cocked, just want to grab the hack of the pallet chute. Stepping carefully on the D-bag. Two things I'm going to check. Color in the window. Snap test.
pilot chute works. Now I begin my cigar roll. Squeeze out all the air. Back up. Again, squeezing out all the air. While I'm down here, reflecting on my life, smelling the carpet. Inspect the D-bag, make sure the elastics or tube stows are good. Come back up. Final adjustments. Now begin my S-fold. Holding down here, karate chop up there. First fold. Placing knee, reaching underneath. Having a good grasp with one hand. Get behind, pull towards me, or second fold. Then grabbing the top skin, pushing away, third fold, aiming for this nice S fold on the side, holding it down, clean up the other side. All this fluffy stuff, I just want to tuck it underneath this little pocket here. Keeping it tight, squaring it up. Corner of this flap under this knee. Corner, other corner of the flap under the other knee. Going to shrink wrap the D bag around. I'm going to begin my stows. Pulling the elastic or tube stow through the grommet. Bring it down to my knuckles. Pinch the lines. My second stow, again, the elastic or tube stow down all the way to my knuckles after I get it past the grommet, through the grommet. Pinch the lines, pull them through, aiming for two and a half inches, nice and neat. Then I'm going to keep going back and forth, maintaining good line tension as I go. If you need to double wrap because the lines are loose, you may. With elastics, be cautious with tube stows. Make sure you still have your pull-up cord. You want to bring the D-bag up and over. Get the pilot chute out of the way. Start with the risers. Tuck tab. Make sure the risers are nice and flat against the reserve tray. The other side. Tuck tab. Rises are nice against the reserve tray. Do an inspection on your closing loop. Is it in good condition? Mine is. Root the pull-up cord through. Bring the D-bag down nicely. Rotate it, the bridle off to the right top side, 
look up or ask what the closing sequence is. Since mine's javelin, it's going to be bottom, top, left, right. Use leverage, place a knee there. Top grommet, all about leverage. You just want to see the closing loop. Place a knee there. Left side. You can see the closing loop, knee. Right side, pull cord through. Grab your main closing pin, route it through. Remember to get the uh, pull-up cord underneath the metal, so now as I'm pulling, it's reducing the friction on the actual closing loop. Now that it's removed, tuck the bridle up in the top there. Now I'm going to make sure Pouch shoot still primed, cocked, ready to go. Full moon, the pilot shoot. Bring it down. Half moon. One third. One third. Bottom to top. Let's fold the bridle. Make sure you have the bridle coming up towards where the pilot shoot handle is. Nice big fold over the stack. Another big fold over the stack. We have a nice tight operation. Put the rig up on its side. Use up the whole BOC pilot chute pocket. Flatten the pilot chute. If you have extra bridle showing, make sure it's covered up with the bridle cover. Close up the remaining flap. Now if I were going to jump this, I would do my gear check. And that's how you pack a parachute. Enjoy your jump.